Hello everybody. Today's video is focusing on Fords and Buicks at the car show that I went to uh, this past weekend. It was an Easter weekend car show. And you can see this uh, Ford Galaxy had a gator up on top of it. But I wanted to show you, um, I, has, I has got a couple pictures snapped of me um, because again, couldn't provide the video because they were playing copyrighted music in the background. So I had to deal with these snapshots, but it looks like I'm a giant here next to this Mini Cooper. Uh, of course, I'm only 5'9", and I'm about 190 pounds, so I need to lose some weight. My doc says I should weigh 175. But let's get back to the Fords. So this is a 1966 Ford Galaxy, and it's the two-door version in the pale yellow color. And this is, this car, I've seen this car before, and it's not quite tan, and it's definitely not yellow. So it's like this uh, pale yellow color. It was a really clean car, all original. And it has the Ford 390 V8 in it. And this was the four, factory four-barrel version. And a lot of these came through with the two-barrel version. Uh, let me see if I can get the specs on this. I, I have a hard time remembering the specs. That's what happens when you get old. The 390 with the two barrel is 265 horse. The four barrel is 320 horse. And then you could get a 335 horsepower S code um, V8 engine in this uh, 66 Ford Galaxy. So let's go back to the uh, pictures from the car show. And the next car is a 1967 Ford Ranchero. Now, when you see a car like this, you're almost always thinking about El Caminos, but the Ranchero was pretty cool also. This was a 67 uh, painted in bright red with white racing stripes, and it was uh, an awesome car. But one thing that I noticed about this car was the way that it sat up. And it looks like it had... Uh, new springs put on the front and back and it looks like it's sitting up in the back but the car was very level but it just had a muscular healthy stance it had a good this car had a good amount of ground clearance so you know a lot of people would want to take this car and turn it into a low rider but this owner decided to make it more of a truck um, and I believe that he put on maybe slightly increased um, length springs on this vehicle not sure about that the owner was not around i love the split grill and the quad headlights on this car and this one also uh came with a 289 v8 so a 289 v8 was 235 horsepower so it was no slouch and it could it could burn a lot of rubber because there's no weight over the back uh of the car so it could definitely burn burn some rubber but it wasn't really that fast because it was a large car with a 289 V8 that you would find in, you know, more like a Mustang. But the, the car definitely garage kept uh, really well taken care of. And it was, in my opinion, this car was a beauty. So I wanted to show you. That's my two Fords that I had to show you. And now we're going to move on to the Buicks. So I don't know a lot about Buicks overall, but this one is a 49 Buick Super Sedanet. Now, Sedanet is like if a French person said sedan, right? So, uh, but that's the way, that, that was the official model name. I don't know what they were thinking on this, but it did say Super on the fenders. So we always called these Buick Supers, and they came with a Fireball V8. This car was customized, obviously, you can see. And let me see if I can zoom in, and I wanted to show you this. Um, it had some custom metal work in the back with a subwoofer, but look where they made this battery compartment. You can see it had uh, a AMG battery, uh, AGM battery, sorry, absorbing glass mat, which is, you know, a little better than a standard lead acid battery. And they made this special compartment for it. And this was just really neat. 
And I wanted to touch it because it looks like stainless steel, but I think it was actually polished aluminum. And you can see that they finished off the trunk uh, with this sheet metal. And there must have been a lot of work uh, put into that. So um, I have a bunch more pictures of this car. And it was just absolutely immaculate. Now, I asked the guy, the couple was sitting there, nice elderly couple. And I asked him if it was the original engine, and he said yes. Now, I didn't get a good picture of it, so I could see that this was certainly not a Chevrolet repower that you would see on a vehicle like this often. And the um, original, you know, 1949 Buick Super came with a only one engine, and it was the 248, and it was only like 120 horsepower. So these were not fast cars, but they were cool cruisers with lots of chrome and a lot of style. And let me see if I have a better picture of the engine. I don't think I do. Let me zoom in here a little bit. You can tell that it's a Buick engine because, well, it said Buick on the valve covers, but the Buick engine had a different look to it. The uh, degree of the V8 was completely different back in 49. So it did not look anything like a small block Chevy. And uh, the interior was immaculate. It, had, it, it was redone and customized. And it was like a tan leather interior, super soft. And uh, this car must have been such a comfortable cruiser. And all of that chrome on there it was just an amazing looking car. I, I don't know if this is the factory grill on this because, again, I'm not an expert on these old Buicks. Maybe somebody can comment down in the comments on whether this is the original grill. Um, but you can just see how amazing the, the restoration of the car was. And even though these wheels are, you know, somewhat modern, they look really cool on this car. So moving on. And this is our last car. This one I saw in the parking lot, and it was just um, a, a, for, a car for sale. And it's a 1961 Buick LeSabre convertible. And I love the color on it. Um, I also like the bumper with the little rocket, um, you know, cones on the front. This was, you know, very popular back in the day, that shaped bumper. And this 61 Buick LeSabre convertible was for sale for $15,900 with its 356 cubic inch V8 two-speed power glide automatic transmission. It was in excellent shape. Very cool car. And I thank you for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one.